Oorah, Space Marines! And welcome to my 100% playthrough of the 2023 remaster of Quake 2 The Reckoning on Nightmare. This is Unit 1, Wilderness. Well, well, well. Welcome back, everyone, once again, to the Quake 2 Remaster of 2023. And as you recall, in our previous escapade, we defeated the Macron in the base campaign, so now it's time to explore the mission packs. The first one that was released was The Reckoning, and so we are here now. In this expansion, we take control of a Marine whose call sign is Joker. And looks like he was uh, going on a simple little recon mission of some kind, and well, he clipped an asteroid on the way in, and he crash landed right in the swamps. Of course, of all environments you had to crash into on this planet, why the swamps? Anyway, speaking of the swamps, that's what this map is called. And we have 59 kills already. Wow, and three secrets. Primary objective is to gain access to the strong fortification. Secondary objective is to eliminate enemy resistance. Well. I do love me a nice, simple uh, objective. And being that this is a new adventure, we're going to be experiencing some new enemies and new weapons. So these guys here, excuse me, light guards, that's against the law. Before I look at this objective, let me take care of these new enemies here. These guys, by the way, are called Gex. G-E-K-K, -K, Gek. Yeah, when I say Gex, I mean the plural form of these enemies, not Gex, the video game lizard. Although that trilogy remake is coming out as well, so I can't wait for that. Anyway, yeah, so they are amphibious native species of this world. They hop along the ground, they can claw you up close, and they spit blaster bolts at you from a distance, so... And they can deal some... Decent damage, too, so don't, uh... <laughs> don't, um, get too careless around them. They can make you pay for it. Oh, they can also swim, because they're, you know, amphibious. The good news, though, is that, yeah, they usually just press themselves up against the wall. Occasionally, they might jump out to try and scratch you. But most times, they just kind of, yeah, swim up against the wall. Completely harmless. They have shiny yellow blood, too. Anyway, what objective do we just get? Security fence active. Locate alternate entrance to compound. Alright. Now, one quick note I do want to make is that... Well, actually, um... No, I was about to say, once you uh, get past this point here, you cannot, like, go back up, but... You will eventually disable that laser fence, so never mind, ignore that. Another note I want to make about this expansion, and Ground Zero as well, there is going to be a lot more level hopping involved. For things like finding all the secrets and getting all the kills, there's going to be <laughs> much more of that level hopping business. So, don't expect to find everything or kill everything on your first go-round of... Pretty much any level, to be honest. Whereas in the base campaign, where it was pretty much mostly contained to the penultimate unit, this time it's pretty much the entire expansion. Oops, wrong key. And that applies whoop, to Ground Zero as well. Uh, something else to mention is that these expansions are, technically speaking, only half as long as the base campaign. There's only five units instead of ten. But, 
I think they're on average longer, like longer lasting. So, you know, they're not going to be as long as the base game, of course, but they're not like terribly, terribly short either. I think the Reckoning is quite short, but Ground Zero is definitely in between the two. Now, we will be finding two of this level's three secrets on our first journey. And we're, we're also about to get the uh, machine gun, so don't worry about not being able to take these Gex out with anything faster than a shotgun. Although, these guys are doing a damn good job chasing me down. Damn. They usually don't get that eager when it comes to chasing. As a matter of fact, I think the room that we uh, spotted them all in actually contains the machine gun. I think. Yes, it does. Look at that. Okay, so... We can either go straight here, or we can take a right and take another dip. Well, Joker is, uh, he likes to swim, so let's go for a little swim. Go ahead and collect all the items through here as quick as you can. There is no air pocket where those armor shards are, so don't try to surface there. It will not work. And the reason we want to go this way first, you see that gap right there where that Gek is? Well, that, believe it or not, is our first secret. The first of two that we shall find in our initial journey. My goodness, I mean, you guys are... <laughs> These guys are super eager today. My goodness. Anyway. Ooh, that was close. This this is not an easy gap to clear, by the way. It, <laughs> don't be, uh... Don't feel ashamed if it takes you more than one attempt. But you get a silencer out of it, which is pretty nifty. I think I'll actually save it for the next map. Well, yeah, next map. But, I think this is the way to progress. And I don't need to jib all these gecks. I just like to. I like their shiny yellow blood. But I think if we just go back here, yeah, this is the room we just dove out of. I did leave a box of shells behind, though, so go ahead and grab those. And we'll just keep advancing through this here cave system. Now, this next fork in the road here, we're going to once again want to go right first, but be careful. Yep, nothing will be free. I love that death animation. If they if they kind of toddle around on their feet when you kill them, they will explode on their own. I don't really know how that works. Maybe Gex have really hot blood and it just superheats and makes them explode, who knows. But, the reason we want to come over here first is A, because we have some ammo and health and armor, but B, the bigger reason, more armor. An actual suit of armor and not just shards. And that does it for this room, so let's go ahead and advance. Oh, ah. Their melee attack animation can be a little hard to judge. I just wouldn't let them get all the way up in your face at all. <laughs> Sometimes you'll be able to back up in time. Other times, not so much. Now, I am fully loaded on machine gun bullets, but if I start going all gung-ho with the machine gun on these gecks, that's not going to last very long. Man, look, man. Oh, my. Yo. You guys are never, ever this eager. I mean... Not just in the non-remaster, but in previous playthroughs of The Reckoning, they were never this excitable. Damn. Well, anyway, before we go further forward, which is where we have to go, just gonna go ahead and take another dip here, and looky here. More... Gex. Right now, it's just a Gex. And then, this way, leads to this cliff with a couple of boxes of bullets. And we're right back at the watering hole we just jumped in. And this guy is... Where'd he go? Hey, where are you going? I'm over here. Hot stuff. Oh, ah, oh, ow. Oh, God. Did I mention Gex are really, really good swimmers? Don't bother trying to escape them in the water. It's not going to work out. <laughs> well, that didn't work out very well. But we have a med kit over here, so... All is well. Did lose a decent chunk of my armor, but that's okay. We'll find plenty more. But yeah, I'm telling you, Gexer. 
They're not quite as target practice as the fodder guards are. And speaking of fodder guards, we might just be seeing some uh, new variants of those here as well. I hope you're not too used to the light guards and the shotgun guards and the machine gun guards. I'll just leave it at that. Um, let's see. Yeah. So, through here, through this great door you have to uh, blow up. This is the end of the level for now. This here is the transition to the next level. But before we do that, secret number two of three, only of two for now, I'm going to climb up the side of the cliff face here, on the right side of that sewer entrance. Cross this here. Oh yeah, watch out for the gex. There's going to be plenty of them. And if you have to jump down to, you know, have some freedom of movement, feel free. Anything's better than getting pinned by these guys. You probably also noticed the flashlight that we found at the very, very start of the map. It has infinite life, so don't worry about it burning out or anything like that. But to also enjoy it while it lasts, because this is the only expansion, kind of, that you uh, get it in. I'll say kinda, like the reason behind the kinda a bit later on. Actually, no, I'll say it now. In Ground Zero, you don't find one at all. And in Call of the Machine, the flashlight, I guess, is like mounted to the Marines that you control. But it automatically turns itself on or off, depending on how dark or how bright your environment is. But in The Reckoning, it's entirely manual. So there you go. Anyway, secret number two, hop in this tiny little pool of water here for our first adrenaline. Ooh, I've missed those things. And as usual, I will not use it until we find a second one, so I can go ahead and use this one safely. Or if I get into a pinch for whatever reason. And you know what? Jib those guys too. Anyway, we're done with the swamps for right now. 18 more kills, I believe. We have the exact number of kills we need for now. And definitely the number of secrets, so let's move on. Secondary objective, gain access to outer compound through sewers. And we're here in the sewers. <laughs> From the swamps to the sewers, isn't that just the best thing ever? And what do you know? Quad machine in the second map, yet again. Oh, yeah. So, don't get too comfy. You are going to be immediately accosted by shotgun guards and enforcers in here. Now, one other quick note I want to make. In the non-remaster, and thank God they they fixed it for the remaster, but in the expansions in the non-remaster version, the um, enforcers had a very annoying animation order change, if that makes any sense. Now what that basically means is, instead of, I can only assume they're like deholstering their or unholstering their gun or whatever. Oh, that's how... Okay, I've never actually gone down gone down there before, and I just realized this is actually a room that was brought back in Quake 2 64, like this part of the room. I've never actually been up on top of these ledges before. I feel completely dumb for not knowing that until now. <laughs> until now. Anyway, um, so the, the enforcers, or infantry as they're called now, Instead of loading or unholstering their chain gun fists, whatever that first bit of their animation is, and then firing it at you, they would fire first and then do the holstering or loading animation. I have no clue why that was done. And it made the enforcer and it was the same in Ground Zero as well. That made enforcers so much more annoying to deal with, especially in these first couple levels, because you don't really have anything. I mean, you have a machine gun. But you're not exactly going to take care of them very fast from a distance with anything at this point in the game. So the fact they had that much of an advantage over you was kind of insane. But that's not the case anymore, and that's what's really important. So, looks like we also... Excuse me. We also have three secrets in this map. And I believe we'll actually be able to find everything in this map on the first go-round. Matter of fact... One of the secrets is actually right under this, like a little elevator that comes out of the water, forming a bit of a makeshift bridge for you. You go under that to find, I believe it's actually the second secret. The third secret is near the very end. But uh, yeah, so I think we'll be able to find and kill everything on our first go around here. 
go ahead and take out those pesky flyers. So, to the right, overflow valve sealed, so we can't go that way yet. We must swim to our left, surface, and continue the fight. Now here we're actually going to go to the right path first, yes. Do something I almost never do, and that's go right first. Now I think it, I don't really think it matters which way you go first, I could be wrong about that, but I've always just gone right first. But one of the reasons you want to go right first... Hmm. Well, well. We found our first secret. And nice new, uh, torn open wall texture. I really like that, actually. And we find a bandolier already. Yeah, so since these units are... Or there's less units in these expansions, they're not going to make you wait as long before you get useful items like bandoliers and ammo packs. But in here... We're just going to take these enforcers out from a safe distance and try not to get pelted by chain gun fire too much. There we go. Now, don't jump in there because it is toxic. What you want to do first is drain it. And then we can fall down. Because we will eventually be refilling this pit with actual water, which is safe, of course, to dive into. Now, be careful in here. Approach this door, and be careful. There's going to be three flyers past the door. Oh, you want to shoot and move, do you? Well, nice try, but it's not going to work. And then you're going to have an infantry in each of these little wall compartments behind you. Anyway, let's filter all the grossness out of the water, and have it just be regular old water. Or I can just fall down from there to here. One more to go. So our ultimate goal here is to hit the two switches, one on the right path and one on the left. Oh, hey, you're here already. To open the other hatch. You probably noticed there was a second. Hello, I'm pinned. Ooh, that was close. There was a second hatch in the starting area of this room. Right there. Our goal is to open that to advance. So, let us go ahead and keep advancing. Oh, I thought I could close the distance enough. That's alright. Now, don't worry about having to fight Berserkers with a regular shotgun. Because we will be finding the Super Shotgun very, very shortly. And not a moment too soon, as far as I'm concerned. Now, thankfully, the most common enemies we have here... Oh! Killed by your friend's post-mortem shotgun fire. That is embarrassing. Oh. And there's the other switch we have to press. Obviously, those green lasers are a big no-no. They will instantly kill you. So we can't just jump through them. How we get through them instead... Oh, yeah. Technicians. I think this does more damage. Yeah, don't worry. We are very, very close to the super shotgun. I think this is the toughest fight we've had so far. I missed that last shot, that was bad. But once we press this switch and advance via secret number two, which is actually just inside this water, we'll get one. We'll get a prize. So over here, we have to open these little fuse box doors and blow the fuses to disable the lasers. Hit the switch, and the flood hatch, or the other flood hatch, has been opened. And then secret number two is through this grating right here. You want to stay far away from the explosion because it actually will hurt you fairly heavily. But down here we're just going to swim, swim, and swim. Kind of go ahead and surface up here because we find another adrenaline. Oop. Along with some shells. Yeah, I, I always get turned around here. I think I went the wrong way. I did not go the wrong way. Awesome. And then at the very end of this secret, climb the ladder. And there she is. Star she blows. The Moby Dick of video game shotguns. The super shotgun is ours once again. Oh, yeah. It is absolute doomsday for any berserkers that want to cross my path now. Or for that matter, infantry. 
or groups of light guards. But yeah, we're done here. Let's go ahead and hop in this here flood hatch. Let's not just drop all the way down. That'd be a little painful if we did that. Now there's also going to be, yep, a couple of technicians. You know what? I'll whip out the shotgun here because they're far farther away. Oh, really? Okay. That works. And we're back in this room from the start with those distant machine gun guards. So now what we gotta do is press this switch to raise up the security bridge and then swim under the bridge. Yeah. For secret number three, another suit of combat armor. Awesome. And then we just surface out of here onto the bridge, press this switch here, and that opens the overflow valve. Now, you might be uh, thinking, what's the overflow valve? Been a while since we've been in that area of the map. But it is the right side of the bottom of this very juncture, right here. Yeah, I remember getting lost in this map at least once or twice because I was like, where is this stupid valve I just opened? Not no more, says I. Now be careful in this final room. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the enemies kind of have a unfair advantage placement-wise, and I think that's the first time I've actually made it through this fight without taking any damage. So I guess just stay on the water and hug this wall here and hope for the best. The shotgun guard getting uh, shot by the infantry definitely helped. But yeah, we're done. The sewers is done. Let's move on to the third and I believe final map of the unit. The Waste Sieve. Secondary objective, continue through sewers, eliminate all resistance. All right. If you're gonna try twisting my arm about it, I guess I have no choice. And yeah, I wanna go ahead and take this infantry out here. There's actually two of them. Because if we don't, they're just gonna take pot shots at us the whole time we're trying to explore. Now here we have a total of 56 kills and four secrets. Ooh, all right. Well, don't you worry. While this may be the most challenging map of the unit, in my opinion, it's not that bad. Just keep your weapons close by, and keep your wits about you, and you'll be fine. Secret number one, by the way, before going through this, whatever the hell this is, we see an impact switch that looks like it's already been shot. I don't know why it has the already shot decal or graphic, but just shoot it. And it turns into an unshot impact switch. That's really strange. Though we open a nice little secret compartment with an adrenaline through it. Oh, oh no, don't you squish me. I hate that damn thing. Now this room here, this was one of my least favorite rooms in the entire unit in the non-remaster. Because remember, the infantry's order of animation was reversed. So they took their shots at you right away, and you have, like, literally no cover here at all. Except, like, right here. That's it. But now, not only do the enemies behave properly, they also j jump off of ledges and come straight to you, which kind of helps. I will not complain about that. But we actually have secret number two right up here. Shoot that little wall insignia and hop on up for another super shotgun. Ooh. Boomstick. Never be caught dead or alive without one. And then this gunner will just gun him down and open the overflow doors, which are actually, I think back in the, I think it's quicker to go back this way. Yes, go back this way. Because there's the valve. Now we will want to use the rebreather here because this is a bit of a long swim. And there's also a fork in the road. That's always fun, especially when you're underwater. But I think the best path to go is here first. Actually, no, no. We're gonna come down to that one. We wanna go here first. We'll open that busted grate. Yeah, here we go. We actually have a vantage point up here. I think those are the only two ways out, because this is the room we have to 
be inside next. And then there's the first part of the path with no little surface holes, so yeah, we're good. So, we'll just head down here where the other opening led us. Yeah, and you would have been face-to-face -face with an infantry, probably with your back turned to him. Which would not be very fun. So instead, let's play smart. Alright, now this room is also pretty dangerous. So we're going to approach it pretty slowly. Yeah. Once you kill those light guards, we have a gunner spawn in. And the machine gun, while it is fairly good from long range, I mean, it's a lot better now than it used to be. The spread can still be unpredictable sometimes. My goodness. There we go. Now, you don't want to climb the ladder and get right in his face with the super shotgun because as soon as you touch this ladder and go up it even a bit, yeah. Look at that welcoming committee. Three shotgun guards. Yeah, Zatrix, uh... Zatrix, they, they took some notes, and what is that? This door is locked, by the way. That looks like a new power-up, and that's because that's exactly what it is. And that is also the fourth and final secret. We can't access it from here. We'll have to drop down from above to get it. That's actually the end of the map up there, or at least very, very close to it. So for now, we'll just head up this here lift. Gun down some more pesky shotgun guards. Gather some armor, because armor is awesome. And we're going to open access valve A and take another dip. And no worries, this dip is nowhere near as long. But you want to be careful. You want to you want to swim up with as much force as you can because there is a fan right below you that I believe will instantly kill you if it sucks you in. So instead, let's climb these pipes and press the switch to access access valve B, and then just carefully swim back in here. There we go. I'm always afraid that thing is going to randomly pull me in super strong and just dice me up. But, let us take a dive into access valve B and continue on. We're actually getting pretty close to secret number three. But there's a, a cracked wall in the pipe ahead, so we'll just go ahead and blow it up from here. And we have more in, or infantry from long range. So we'll match them bullet for bullet. Whoa. Wow. I actually cleared this gap from the pipe. That's not easy to do. <laughs> I got a bit of a boost. But we have a shotgun guard just below us. I don't want him to get a shot on us. Now that door up there I believe is locked from this side. So we have to go through this bottom one. But before we do that... Go ahead and nab some health. At least I'm pretty sure it's locked. Yeah, it's locked. So we'll just head this way. Now this is also another very Quake 2 64-esque room. Trust me, you'll you'll notice the similarities when we get there. A lot of them are almost... I, I mean, they're pretty much identical. Oh! Hey! Berserker on gunner action. Let's go! And then Berserker gets shot by the infantry's post-mortem spray. Love it. Love to see it. Oh, go away. You go away, too. Now, you want to be careful, because around this corner, we have some old buddies back. Parasites! Oh, what? Both get stuck? Too bad. Security ladder extended. Awesome. Well... Let's go from going down, down, down to going up, up, up. And, yeah, watch this encounter here. So I like to just charge for the infantry and then try to get those shotgun guards in single file. One of them will likely shoot you, but the other one will probably shoot the other one in the back, which gives you a free shot. A door has opened. That's the door that was previously locked, but before we go there, secret number three, jump across this gap to this uh, bit of pipe over here. You go all the way behind it and crouch. Yeah, that's a very well-hidden suit of armor right there. But, we opened a door. Ooh, I always love opening doors. Well, that door is, in fact, 
uh, that door. And I think those are shotgun guards. Actually, one's a machine gun guard. You know what? How about I just jib all of you? Oh, and I killed someone else. Nice. Alright, six more kills, one more secret. I believe we're doing just fine. And then this door here leads right back to here. Go ahead and jib that gunner because I don't like him. And then I think we have, okay, five kills. Let's see. I know we have a few guards. I think it's three machine gun guards. Nope. A machine gun guard, two machine gun guards, a shotgun guard, and in here we have two bazookas. And you can trespass for these nuts. Boom. And there we go. Wasteives kills are all swept. Security override. Exit airlock open. Well, that's nice, but before we head there, guess what we're getting? That's right. Secret number four. Hop on that little uh, window, I guess, onto these pipes, and carefully drop down on top of a dual fire damage. Ooh, now what could that be? Well, if it's not obvious enough, it is literally a pickup that doubles your fire rate, which is really fun. I don't really find myself using it too much. I kind of save it until I find another one so I can just instantly replace it, but it's fun. And more importantly, we're done with Waste Civ, so all we have left are the swamps. Oh yes, back to the lovely, lovely swamps. Secondary objective, kill enemy resistance. Okay. Well, we have 18 more kills and one more secret to find, so let's get to it, I guess. Now, I believe... Uh, is this the way we have to go, or is it the other way? Oh, watch this. Yeah, oh. Dumb gex. So we can't go this way. This is the other side of that red laser fence. And if you remember anything about Quake 2, remember that red lasers equal death. Instantaneous death. Unless, of course, you have an invulnerability, in which case you're fine. And then through here, we have pretty much the rest of the enemies. And I'll go ahead and spoil, since it's right up there, but that is the end of unit exit right up there and this final secret can be a little annoying but we'll see if we can get it it's actually really easy to get if um, let's just say if the environment behaves I'll leave it at that but we are very close to disabling those laser fences as well so but we're gonna want to go in here Ooh, and things have gotten quiet well Let's see if we can get as many of these kills as stealthily as we can. No, don't you shoot me with them coconuts. I don't want your damn coconuts. Keep them to yourself. You can die. And I think there's one more. Yep, machine gun guard. Alright. So I think we're free of enemies for now. So this keyboard right here is what we have to press to advance. I think it also shuts off the laser fences. But before we do that, it's time to get secret number three. In order to more easily access it, we have to jump on top of the barrel. So if it explodes, the secret is much more difficult to get. I think you can kind of jump on the sides of the keyboard button here and use that as a springboard, I think. I think I, might, I may have had to do that last time. But we actually can't access, so the secret's behind that wall up there. There's also at least one or two technicians behind there, and they reveal themselves when you activate this keyboard. So what we're going to do is activate the keyboard and run away. I do not want to fight anything too close to that barrel and risk blowing it up. So we'll take care of the technician first, hop our way around, and Hop inside for another suit of jacket armor, which admittedly didn't really help us much at all. And now I'll destroy the barrel. Because I can. Alright, five kills left. I believe they are all going to be Gex, and they should all spawn in right about now. Okay, I see four. Why am I using this? This is so much more effective. Now, my last playthrough, I actually missed a Gex somewhere. I think I had to go swimming again to find him. And that may be the case here, too, because I don't think I see any more up there. 
Mm, yeah, let's just drop down. Oh, shut up. No, I hear footsteps. He's somewhere. Is he back here? Hey, there you are. Why are you back here? Yeah, you can explode. Damn, Gex. Yeah, I don't know why... <laughs> I don't know why he spawns all the way over there, but he does. I guess that's his favorite pastime, is spawning in weird places. But yeah, that's it. We're done with this unit. Not really going to go fishing around for any med kits. Uh, actually, I think there might be... Aha! There we go. Nice. Yep, we're done with this unit. We are D-O-N-E. Oh, hello. Grenades? Do I need those? I don't. Well, how about now? Do not deny Joker his grenades. And, yeah. Let's get out of here. Press the switch. And we're done. And that, friends, is the first of five units of the Reckoning. And I will go ahead and say, don't worry. The, remain <laughs> the remaining units of the expansion are nowhere near as swamp or sewer heavy as this one. Um, the next one is primarily a lot of base installations, kind of like what you're used to from the original Quake 2. Um, so yeah, uh, none of the other units are going to be anything like this. Though this one's not too bad once you get used to the environment. I would say the Swamps is probably the worst map to find your way through because there's there's a decent amount of forked paths. Um, but, you know, usually one of those two ways leads to a dead end, so it's not that bad. Um, the Gex are definitely annoying to fight. Um, now that we have the super shotgun, they are significantly less annoying to fight, which is always a good thing. And I think the only other time we see them in this whole, well, no, there's at least two other maps we see them in, but there's one map in unit, I believe, three. Yes. It's three or four. I believe it's three. That is pretty much nothing but Gex, and it looks pretty much like the Swamps, only it's longer. And I think it has even more Gex, <laughs> or more total kills. Um, but it's also much more linear. There's no, I don't think there's anywhere near as many forking uh, paths. Yeah, fork those forking paths. But anyway, that's about it for me. I'm going to do the uh, outros during the whole level stat screen instead of when there's music in the background kind of drowning me out much easier to listen to one thing at a time than two, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, yeah, we're done. Wilderness is complete. So let's see what our objectives are for Unit 2. Ooh. Damn, it's like three objectives. I like it. Well, let's see where we're at real quick, why don't we? Outer Compound, 62 kills and four secrets. Primary objective, enter Intelligence HQ, discover location of Strog Counter-Strike Fleet. And secondary objective, join with remaining members of Strike Team, find Data CD. Ooh, more Data CDs, that's always nice. But yeah. Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. Roger that. But yeah, that's it, everyone. I am signing off for now. Once again, that was Unit 1. Unit 2 is next. I hope everyone enjoyed what they saw so far. There is a lot more action to come. The expansions are, like I said, they're shorter, but they're typically much more action-packed. Like, the, the levels are kind of shorter, but they're, they're much busier, and the kill counts are, on average, also much higher. So, trust me, you'll see much more of it going ahead. But that's it. Unit 1 is done. Unit 2 is next. Hope everyone enjoyed it. Hope everyone has an amazing rest of their day or night. Once again, I am signing off for now, and I will see you all next time for Unit 2 of The Reckoning. So, until then, I will see you all on the flip side. Bye-bye.